Ryan, there you have it. Week three in the books. Mm -hmm. Biggest takeaways from tonight. I mean, I think for me, once again, it's university and the fact that for three weeks in a row now to start the year, 52 or more points for John Kelly's group. I mean, really, the, now maybe they haven't played the best of the best teams yet. Parkersburg South last week was a, is a good team, I think, we're going to see as the year goes on. But university, a good schedule ahead. but. Will they be able to keep this up? We'll, ha we'll have to see. It'll be fun to watch. How about you? The U has Wheeling Park next, so definitely a mm -hmm. test. Another team with a test, Fairmont Senior, has a lot of games coming up right. that they are going to need to win a lot of those uh, in order to make the playoffs. They need some work. They need to kind of get their team the screws a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. So that definitely something to watch for these upcoming weeks. You know, a couple other teams to point out here. Ritchie County, a big comeback win, win tonight. You know, Ritchie County, we didn't know if they were going to be tested this year. Good to see them get tested tonight at home against the Wahama team. That'll bode well for them likely down the road. And Lincoln, you know, off to a 2-0 start. They've looked, for the most part, pretty impressive in their win so far. A lot of teams with big wins yeah. and a lot of teams with big games next week. So I think just continuing yeah. these games, hopefully uh, get some more wins for our teams up here in the north. And week four, you know, such an important week at this point. You're three at least games in. you got to start turning that corner if you have to here in week four. But that, all that important action coming up for you next Friday. Make sure to join us then. Grab you back. And so, Ryan Decker, thank you once again for joining us here in the Grog Sports Zone. See you next Friday.